evening and welcome to BCN News. Leading our bulletin tonight, tourism ministers from around the Pacific are gathering in Niue this week for the annual South Pacific Tourism Organization Council of Tourism Ministers meeting. BCN journalist Esther Pavihi has the details. The theme for this year's uh, South Pacific Tourism Organization meeting is Sustainable Tourism, Our Future. The Council of Ministers meeting, now in its 29th year, is organised annually by SBTO, the region's peak tourism development and marketing body, in partnership with the newer tourism office. Held at the scenic Matavai Resort, today was the first meeting, the marketing meeting. Tomorrow, the board of directors of the SBTO will meet and the tourism ministers meeting will be held on Thursday. BCN spoke to Chris Cocker, the Chief Executive Officer of SBTO, about the organisation and what the key discussions will be over the week. A warm Pacific greetings and fa'alo falahiatu. Firstly, thank you to the government and also of people of Niue, as well as their Niue tourism for the warm hospitality since our arrival. Of course, uh, it is something that we are known for. It's in our DNA to be uh, hospitable and also welcome everybody. But I think just to give you a brief history, we were started as the Tourism Council of the South Pacific in 1983. That was when it was endorsed. But informally, it was called, uh, it was like a marketing arm. And it was established by the Polynesian countries uh, because uh, it was very expensive to market our Pacific Islands overseas, particularly in the long haul markets, which is Europe and North America. So the founding members uh, was uh, Niwe, was one of them, Cook Islands, Tonga, Samoa, American Samoa, and also Tahiti in this case. When that was set up and when it was officially named as the Tourism Council of South Pacific, Fiji came in and joined us in this case. So we have a lot of, uh, of uh, respect for all these countries because they started the vision of the T T Tourism Council of South Pacific, which is known as the South Pacific Tourism Organization. We're also very fortunate there's still some of these people who are found them still alive and uh, we are still working, uh, some in the tourism industry, but they've gone on their own pathways and their careers. So our, our first meeting, which is today, is on the marketing meeting. And they're focused in, in, uh, on their marketing plan for, for the SPTO in 2020, and also looking at a five-year marketing strategy moving us forward, because we now have a new strategic plan. Uh, which is a five-year one from 2020 to 2024. So all our activities need to align with this in this case. Eh? Um, and also looking at ways of, uh, uh, particularly the key issue here is the, the transition from offline, offline marketing to digitalization. So there's a big push for this, uh, particularly that's the way we're going anyway. We'll miss out, miss out if we don't join, join the bandwagon. And the other issue is looking at pooling resources, uh, partners, partnerships with uh, other partners that will help us pool resources because we have a very small budget uh, allocated, although it's the largest in terms of, of all our core, core budget, but uh, if you compare it for, eight, uh, for 20 Pacific Island countries, that's a lot to help market 20 Pacific Island countries. This will be the second time Niue has hosted the regional meeting on tourism, including the tourism ministerial meeting to be held on Thursday. We had a TCSP meeting in the 90s, mid-90s onwards, I can't remember. But uh, this is the second time we've done the South Pacific Tourism Organization uh, Council meeting, as well as uh, the board meeting and marketing. And I think it's a good opportunity to showcase the country. Because last time I came, it was still the old wing at the Matavai, and now I'm very uh, impressed with what you have here, which is uh, of international standard, in this case, uh, in the new wing that you have. Neo Tourism has designated this week's SBTO meetings and activities in recognition of the 2019 China Pacific Islands Tourism Year. This is Esther Pavihi for BCN News. A man has been charged with firearms offences under the Arms Act. Esther Pavihi again with this report. According to the New York Police Department, the man is charged after an investigation into an incident that happened in the village of Toy last month. The police said they had completed their investigation of the case involving the shooting of dogs at a property in the village of Toy. The police inspector told BCN News that this case will be heard at the next sitting of the New York High Court. BCN News received a statement from the family whose dogs were shot. They said that four of their pet dogs were shot, two of them died, and the other two were left with serious gunshot injuries. 
The inspector of police told BCN News that Niue Police Department will continue to caution registered gun owners on the island to respect the law and not to take the law into their own hands. It's Pavihi for BCN News. Niue is one of the smallest countries in the world, and when one passes away, the entire community feels the loss. Such was the case over the weekend when the community lost a newborn baby and a tupuna. On Friday last week, a young family lost their newborn baby girl. And on Saturday morning, the tupuna and former member of parliament for the village of Mutelo, Honorable Hafe Vilitama, passed away at New Fall Hospital. He was 90 years old. Hafe Vilitama was an educator and historian by profession. He was Niue's first local Niuean director for the Department of Education. And he was also the Ulumutua, or head deacon of the Ekalisi of Mutalo for many, many years. The funeral service for the late Honorable Hafe Vilitama, M MNZOM, will be held tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. at the Mutalo Ekalisia Church, Fupiu Talamitaki. Esther Pavi for BC News. An information technology facility on the island is expected to open this month. The facility, which is based at the USP New Air campus, is funded by the Government of India. PMCU has confirmed to BCN News the facility is an IT training centre with courses expected to be offered to New Airans interested in learning IT. Equipment and training manuals handbooks have been handed over on the 10th of September. Two trainers from India are expected to arrive in New Air on the 7th of this month. The official opening of the centre is planned for the second week of this month. The subcommittee of the USP Council is yet to finalise the names of the commission which will oversee the necessary reforms. BCN News spoke to the Cook Islands Prime Minister Henry Puna, who is a member of the subcommittee. This is an outcome of the USP Council meeting in August this year, following an independent investigation into allegations of mismanagement and abuse of process at the University of the South Pacific. There are some, uh, some remedial actions that need to be taken with the governance and administration of our university. And I'm pleased to be part of the subcommittee that was set up by the recent USP Council meeting in Nandi uh, in order to start addressing that. And, and I'm relishing the challenge. The committee is made up of eminent Pacific leaders, including the Cook Islands Prime Minister Henry Puna, Deputy Prime Minister of Samoa Fiame Naomi Mata'afa, and the Attorney General of Fiji, Ayaz Said Kayum. We are currently in discussions among the three of us with the Deputy Prime Minister of Fiji and the Deputy Prime Minister of Fiji as to how we you know, agree on uh, names to be submitted uh, to form the commission. By the way, it's a three-man commission, and I have suggested to the other two colleagues that perhaps, you know, we can come to the table with a name each, of somebody that we treasure highly in order to be part of that process, and I'm waiting for, uh, you know, to hear back uh, from my colleagues on that. We also asked the Cook Islands Prime Minister on the ideal commissioners the committee is looking for. Some knowledge and experience of uh, uh, public administration, particularly university or tertiary institutions, education establishments. But I also think that uh, in addition to that, you know, members of the commission must have a full knowledge and appreciation of the Pacific contest. I mean, this is our university and it doesn't operate in a vacuum. It has to operate within our region. So I think an appreciation of the cultures and the context of the Pacific is absolutely necessary. And finally, the Broadcasting Corporation of Niue has uh, launched three new TV channels today. The new channels include TLC, Food Network and Travel TV. These channels have replaced Discovery Science, Animal Planet and Al Jazeera. BCN General Manager Trevor Siakia said the board of BCN and management are very happy to provide new content. He said these new channels are in response to the public's demand for such TV programs, especially the Food Network. And that's BCN News for tonight. Thank you for joining us. Do join us same time tomorrow. Until then, have a good evening.